that is a little intro of I Knew You Were Trouble because I'm in trouble. Ah! Sorry. Okay. So here is Christmas Teresa Vlogmas 3. Tis the season to be jolly. No. Tis the season to be pranksters. Yep, tis the season to be pranking. Tis the season to be pranking. That is the actual saying, right? So last year, my friends and I got involved and we ended up doing Christmas tree pranks where we picked up a bunch of Christmas trees that were on the, like after Christmas that people threw away and they had them on like the curb and we picked them all up and we put them in a truck and we dropped them at our friend's door. He did not like that. No, mm -mm, no. So he pranked all of us back. But I have a gate. So he had to put all the Christmas trees on my gate. But that made it so that my automatic gate won't open. So that was a problem. Yep. My dad got kind of mad. But he loved the smell of Christmas and Christmas trees. So he was like, oh, it's totally fine. Which was really surprising. And then my other friends got hit. This year. So. Okay, I'll start here. So I just got back from middle school group. I help out at middle school and high school group at my church. And... I just got back and um, whew, like a week ago or so, uh, we were hanging out, my friends, uh, Tim, Taylor, Jenna, and me, and we went out to um, we went out to get some food and to hang out, and then afterwards we were like, it's only 10 o'clock, like, let's do something. We're like, what should we do? And we're like, we're all leaders in this, we're all leaders in this ministry, and we're like, ooh, we should prank some students. And we're like, okay. Nothing illegal, nothing terrible, nothing that's gonna hurt anyone, no physical prop no physical damage or property damage. Okay, what does that lead? We're like, squirt guns. We'll go to Walmart and we'll get squirt guns. And then we'll call them outside and say, hey kids, wanna hang out? Because our kids are they're total geniuses, but they love us so much that we can just be like, hey, wanna hang out? And they'll like run outside and get in our car. Yeah. So we said <laughs> So we went to Walmart and went to, and we couldn't find squirt guns because, water guns, big water guns, because they are out of season. Yeah, apparently they only carry them in the summer, which is dumb because it's like super cold outside. So I guess people don't want to get hit with water guns. So we got water balloons, but we didn't get like the one pack of water balloons. We got like the 25 pack of water balloons where you put them on this hose and then all the water balloons just go in like three minutes, you make 25 at a time or 50. So we made 200. And then we called our students and we told them to come outside and we had the bucket in the back and I handed, my job was to hand out all the water balloons and I had two and then um, Jenna had two, Taylor had two and Tim had two. And Tim actually got out so he could actually have aim and be able to hit them. And so we called out students and one of the kids, Ryan, he comes out and he like didn't want to come out at first because he was exhausted and it was like 11 something and he had baseball all day and he comes out and he's like has a jacket on and he's like hey and Taylor's like hey come on over here I want to see your face buddy and she's like acting like super sweet to him and she takes a water balloon and she puts it on his head and she goes and it goes and he just goes what and then we just start pelting him with water balloons and like I hit through him but I didn't hit him because it was really hard to hit him because I was on the opposite side of a window but like they hit him a bunch of times and then we had to pull into his like past his house and the only way to get out was to back up so he ends up standing in front of the car so we had to back up so we start backing up like super fast in the dark because it's like 11 o'clock at night and we're like backing up and he's like running after us and he just starts running. Then he kicks off his shoes and he's running full blast. He runs like a whole block all the way down trying to jump on our car. And then Tim's like, I'm like guys, what's behind us? And I'm, and I'm like, I'm good left, I'm good right. Cause there was a stop sign. And then we're like, okay, let's go. And she just, whew, and he just, oh, I hit my arm. Oh, my arm is sore. Oh, maybe from throwing water balloons. And I, he just whips his car out and then we move on. <laughs> That was great, yeah. Then we call another student, Hannah, and she comes out of her house and she literally just took a shower. Her hair was wet and everything and she had a sweatshirt and sweats on and she comes out and um, 
we start hitting her and she gets really mad. So she goes to jump at the passenger seats and starts punching my friend in the like chest and stuff. And so I take a water balloon and I smack it and I'm actually like right there then, like this far away from her. And I just, boom, and I like hit her in the face and it breaks and it hits her in the face and she gets knocked off the car, falls down, and we glance at her and go, are you okay? To make sure she's okay. But then she jumps up to run after us so we drive away. Ah, it was great. Really funny. And then, <laughs> Lathan, this hilarious kid, he's super fun. He, we called him, I guess he already knew, so we had a plan, so he wouldn't come outside. So Tim had to go to the door, and like he went, came out for a second, he like pelted him once and then ran away, but it wasn't enough. So we called him and was like, hey dude, like, we're about to hit, uh, we're about to hit our friend another your, one of your friends like come with us and you can do it he's like okay so he brings a water bottle just in case and he comes out and he he's all happy he's all excited get in the car go around go around and Tim's outside and he just starts pelting him with water balloons and Lathan takes the water bottle and goes whoosh and all the water goes everywhere on Tim and then Tim jumps back in the car and we drive super fast away but yeah so we hit three students and it was intense and now we are in a prank war. Yeah, bad idea. I'm. Mm. Tim's already got his car saran trucks uh, car saran wrapped. Taylor's already got her car saran wrapped, and written something on the window. Jenna's got her car saran wrapped. And then they went to Tim's house and they made him come outside and poured flour on him. But instead, he knew they were coming. So he was ready for him and went around the back and tackled them. So then they poured flour on Lathan and him. And it was like really intense. I can't have flour because I'm allergic to gluten. So I'm like freaking out thinking like, oh my gosh, they're going to kill me. Like they put flour in my lungs. I'm going to die. Like, ah, I cannot handle this. So I'm like, that can't happen to me. So I'm like telling Taylor, I'm like, Taylor, that can't happen to me. And they can't do anything in my car because my dad will kill me. And they can't get to my house because of my gate. I'm like, oh great. So then today at group... They poured a whole cup of water on me, and I was, like, semi-soaked, but they really want to, like, soak me. They're like, this is just the tip of the iceberg, tip of the iceberg. And there's, like, this whole group message that they keep, like, messaging and saying, like, all this stuff. And then, like, Ryan says random stuff, like, are you happy that you have a bed? Or do you like sleeping on the floor? Like, all this creepy stuff that I'm like, oh, crap, he's done something, right? So pretty much, I feel like they're not even going to get me, and they're just going to let me freak out and freak out and freak out and freak out and freak out freak freak out, freak out, freak out, until I get super paranoid to where I can't even sleep or think or breathe. And then they're going to be like, ha, we were never going to get you, and it's going to be like three months later, and I'm going to be like, I literally looked at every corner. I literally walked around like, oh, no, who, where, what, ah. Yeah, so it's pretty great. Jenna tackled, tackled uh, Ryan today because he stole her scarf. And they locked my keys and my phone in um, a closet that I didn't have a key to. So that was great. But yeah, tis the season to be pranking. All right. Good night and bye. <laughs>